first thing we do is we load up the files that we want to copy into our MU, uh, floppy MU. And then from there, we're going to do a transfer and copy to disk. Now, before we start, we need to copy a program called Locksmith. Now, to do that, we will put it on here. However, we have to first plug in the drive. This goes in slot one. The ribbon cable here shows the red pin, which is the first pin and that goes in like that. Not offset or a break. This goes into slot six. And then we boot. From here, we can go back, pick a floppy disk, and you select the program you want. I use Locksmith version 7. Now, when we boot, this will now boot into Locksmith. And as you can see, it's showing up on the screen here. Locksmith version 7.0, same as on here. This works great. Now, how do we get this from here to a heart, to a floppy? Well, what we do turn it off make this drive two so we put it on the second drive actually no slot one drive one and this is external goes to drive two notice the red Stripe is pin one. So we pop that in. I grab a blank disk, which was already formatted, but you don't need to format it. Just pop that in there. Turn this on. Again, we are booting from here. And in the drive, we have a blank floppy. Now, the first thing we want to do is run the backup program, which is B. It's going to ask you for the slot. Um, input is slot 1, which will be from here, the disk menu. Drive 2 is the floppy. Start and tracks. Increment by one, synchronize, yes. Zero train, yes. And we press the space to continue. Here, as it's copying, you're going to see up here W for write, R for read, C for conf to uh, confirm. Sorry, C is for compare. And this is going to go on for a while. Until the whole drive is done. All the sectors will be written to. This will take some time to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop the process because I've already done it. But it's the same thing. Just let it run and go from there. So let's turn off the 2E.
And now I'm gonna put oh, I can put the same disc as this. And overwrite it. Don't do that, that's a you want box but There we go. That will go into the drive. Now, we're going to turn this back on. And now we are going to go back, even though it's booting up, that's fine. We're going to hit enter. We're going to go back. We're going to go to the two diskettes we're gonna pick five and a quarter we're gonna pick a program let's see here let's do apple presents and now we're ready to reboot so let's reboot Before we reboot, I have to remember one thing. This is set for drive one. Floppy set for drive two. So what you want to do is swap the two. So the emu becomes drive floppy becomes drive two. And our floppy drive becomes drive one. And again, make sure you put them in correctly. And it goes back into slot six. All right, we're going to be booting up off the locksmith. All right, so locksmith is loaded. Our pres Apple presentation program is loaded. And we're going to do a backup. So let's see if I can move this a bit. Do a backup. Now the input drive is going to be number two, not number one. And this will be number one. So we're going to copy number two to number one, which is the floppy. We can select zero, 22 to one, synchronize, yes. Preserve length, sure, why not? Now we can move our locksmith and put in a blank. And hit space. This will take some time. This will work with any program or diskette, I mean, you have on the EMU. You can download tons of them from games, applications, diagnostics all my discs that I've created so far I've all been through that now you can use a program called ADT Pro which is a serial connection which plugs into the serial port of your, your serial card on your 2e to your computer or laptop but the process is more lengthy you got to fool around with the with this with the uh, serial card this way you have to purchase the floppy em the emu floppy emulator however this is a much i find faster process so we will i will speed this video up once this is recorded
All right, now it is complete. And let's see if this disc get boots up. And there we go. As you can see then, we have now transferred the program on the floppy MU to a floppy disk. Now, it takes some time to do this. However, I find it's a better approach than to do the, the AT Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope to give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't like it, and stay tuned for more from Rudy's Retro Intel.